Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso right here on SABC3. Now, the sixth edition of the Cape Town Art Fair begins tomorrow at the CTICC. And over this weekend, art lovers can enjoy a selection of curated sections that are the brainchild of a growing number of local and international galleries who support the artistic practices of emerging and established artists from around the world. So joining us on Expresso this morning to discuss the curation and, of course, the inaugural section called Solo are Tumelo Mosaka, a curator of the Cape Town Art Fair and Nontobeko Ntombela, the guest curator on the solo exhibition. Good morning. How are morning. you? Thank so you. good to have you here. When I drive into work every single morning, I see this massive sign that says this incredible event is going to be taking place. But Tomelo, shall I begin with you first and foremost? How important is it to showcase Pan-African and international talent in the same place in a very local setting? I think, you know, um, South Africa since 94, uh, pretty much became uh, a staging place for dialogue, for exchange, for trade. I mean, I, mean, I think in, in terms of culture, we've seen a huge um, leap in terms of creative production. Mm. And I think it's important that we have to see ourselves in conversation with our neighbors, as well as with you know, the, the, the other countries abroad. And so I think the notion of Pan-African is really important for us to really re-establish our connection with the continent, yeah. as well as to understand how we can compete and be in conversation with other places uh, globally. So the Cape Town Art Fair as a platform has really facilitated that conversation. I think in the absence of a lot of uh, international art presentation in South Africa, yeah. the fair seems to have carved out a space in which it brings international artists, as well as educators, as well as, um, you know, just enthusiasts, people who are interested in knowing not only what's happening in South Africa, but what is happening on the continent as a whole. That's incredible. Now, Tobacco, why has the solo section been added to the art fair, and what is the theme behind the artworks that are going to be there? Well, I mean, it's been a long time coming. Mm -hmm. It's been um, a lot of interest in giving platforms to women artists, um, and so this platform is really an important and a really critical turning point. Um, the theme that f for me was quite critical is to understand what are women artists producing. Yeah. And so the focus was to understand how are artists self-representing. And that's really what I focused on. How do we draw into what women artists are producing themselves? What are they calling us to understand about their practice and their everyday? Yeah. Why, why at this time in history is it so important to give women this platform? Well, the first question is why not? Yeah. But also we understand there's a critical position that has demanded the voice of women to be given a platform. Um, we have historical uh, moments where women have been overlooked. And so it's become really, really important to give that platform and to understand what women are contributing to the art world. Yeah. And then finally to you, Tamela, I know that the Cape Town art scene has got an extra boost by the opening of the Zeitzmacher, but how will this art fair give art globally a boost? You know, I think it's true that the Zeitzmacher has sort of, you know, added to the sort of growing artistic um, production in the country. But I think, you know, as the fair has existed now, it's in its sixth edition, I think we've always try to champion international presentation because yeah. I think we've always felt that it's important to be connected to the rest of the world. And I think uh, Zeitz Mocha has just added more value to what we've been doing all yeah. along. So I think it's, 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 you know, the country is really beginning to, you know, make huge strides in terms of presenting, in terms of engaging, and in terms of just, um, you know, sharing what people here and elsewhere are doing. Well, this is certainly very exciting, and I can't wait for it. But thank you so much for coming here and, of course, enlightening us as to what we can expect to come the 16th to the 18th. Well, make sure not to miss the Cape Town Art Fair, which is on from the 16th to the 18th of February at the CTICC. And you can head on over to capetownartfair.co.za for more information.